Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got this. But since Lord's passed away, I always close my show out with the uh, you know play Oxycontin and then let the crowd rap his verse, and then you know, I just mm -hmm. put my two fingers up for Lord, yeah. and I get my my shout outs and shit. But like, we did a show one time, and I didn't perform Oxycontin because it was a. Uh, it's a drug awareness party or a concert or some shit. They what? hired a little white. I know, right? I said the same shit. So <laughs> a dare, I'm so fucking right now, dude. That man said, "Why the fuck are you there?" I felt the same way. I told my pa my partners at the time <coughs> and my baby mama at the time. I was like, "I do not know why the fuck they booked me for a fucking overdose drug awareness concert." And like, come to find out, the guy who, uh, the two people who actually OD'd or whatever, their, their brothers or whoever put on the show to pay for everything, they were big fans, of course. And I get, I rock my set, I don't play Oxycontin. Because out of respect, dude died from Oxycontin. And the crowd went fucking crazy. I mean, these motherfuckers were mad. What the fuck, bro? You're not gonna play Oxycontin? I'm like, no, dude, he's like, He's looking down right now, man. If you're not going to play Oxycon, what the fuck do we even book you for? And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like just dumbfounded on stage. I'm just like, uh. Definitely gifted. Uh, hands, uh, I don't, uh, fuck it. Uh, play it. Play Oxycon at this fucking drug awareness fucking concert, I guess. I don't, whatever. And they went fucking ape shit. And I mean, it was just one of them things. It was just like, I'm on stage just rapping the whole time. Just completely just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So as far as the Doubt Me Out and the Doubt Me Now album, um, that obviously was the the biggest single from that from that album. Oh yeah, and it wasn't even sure. supposed to be a single. Right, it was, it was just like an album, album cut. Track. Yeah, because yeah, you cut. had uh, uh, the Good Old Boys. Good Old Boys was yeah. on the radio here. I mean, it was yeah. it was being played on the radio. Crash the Club got played on the radio. And Oxycontin, this is my fucking thing with the FCC. As soon as I fucking first heard goddamn Percus, Molly Percocet on the radio, mm -hmm. I was furious. Mm -hmm. I said, how the fuck has shit changed so much that 10 years ago, they wouldn't play a fucking, you couldn't even say the word pill on, on, on the radio. Now it's all you hear. That's all you fucking hear. <laughs> now I was it's like, man, like I, it's promoted. Yeah, yeah, if I'd have dropped Oxycontin now, oh, bro. I'd be the biggest shit in the world. Yeah. When I heard Future say Percocet, Molly Percocet, I looked over and I was like, that's on radio? I was like, oh, that's some bullshit, man. That's yeah. fucked up. Before your time for sure. Yeah.